The truth about experiencing anxiety, if you are someone who has a chronic lung disease, is it complicates things and makes everything worse. That's like notwithstanding the experience of anxiety, which is very distressing and the suffering associated with anxiety, but it also complicates all of these health outcomes. Uh, people who have comorbid anxiety with their lung disease have more frequent hospital admissions. And when they're in the hospital, they have longer stays, longer and more complicated hospital stays. And this is that picture that I mentioned of uh, how you get stuck in a panic loop, the experience of hyperventilating. And this is particularly distressing for people with air hunger. And we'll talk about that at the uh, end here today. But what happens when those panic triggers are tripped, we'll talk about what those are, when those panic triggers get tripped, your respiratory rate naturally increases, which is a problem for people with lung disease because whether you're inside, outside, the exposure to that drier air can cause bronchoconstriction, which then complicates the ability to of your areola to exchange oxygen. It also contributes to a loss of elasticity in the lung tissue, and it is uh, a, a more fatiguing effort for people who have any manner of lung disease. So uh, the stakes for anxiety are so much higher, both in terms of the risk for developing anxiety and also the stakes for managing anxiety for people with lung disease, because uh, the, the root of not managing anxiety is filled with suffering and uh, complicated uh, uh, health course that is, um, poor quality of life and poor respiratory function along the way. Okay.